Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to block adult websites for free using a freeware called Canine Web Protection which you can get for free. This software can be used to block inappropriate websites that you don't want people going to. You can do more than just block inappropriate websites with this. You can block all kinds of uh, websites, even gaming websites, social networking sites, all kinds of stuff that you don't want people to go to on your computer especially if you're a parent and you want to protect your kids from going into inappropriate sites so to get canine web protection do a google search because it's a free program and uh, I've used it before and uh, it's an awesome piece of software and you can get it for free so here's their website right now I'm on their website canine web protection if you look here you have a free downloads button you click on that and it will give you the the, uh, what you have to do is you have to uh, write your uh, first name, your last name, your email, and what that will do is it will send you a license code for the software to, and along with a download link for the canine web protection software to your uh, email. So what you want to do is you want to fill in these boxes here. Once you filled in the boxes, you can click request license. And what that will do is it will uh, send you a license key to your actual email. So you would now go to your email and uh, look for the license key and it will also be sending you a download link for the K9 software so now you want to go to your email account whatever your email you have sign into your email and you should have an email from a K9 web protection and you want to open that email up and inside this email you should have an, uh, an actual serial key right here or a license key and what you want to do is you want to copy that license key and make a new text document on your desktop go right click go new text document and uh, paste that license key into into notepad click save go back to the uh, your email account and uh, we want to go in and you want to click the download canine web protection button and it will start to download actually what it would do is it'll pull up a web page and then here you'll choose Windows if you're running on Windows or if you're on a Mac you'll choose Mac you choose Windows and uh, click save save it to your desktop and uh, let that download. It downloads real fast. Click run. Continue for the installation process. Click next. Agree to the license agreement. Now, when you're installing it, it's going to ask you to uh, enter your K9 user license key. When it does that, you're going to open up your notepad file that you have with the license key on it. Copy it. Or if you didn't do that, you can just get it from your email. And you want to just paste that license key in there. Then here you want to make a password so you can password protect the software. So if you're going to be the administrator of this canine software and you're the person that's going to be telling what sites you want to block, you're going to have to password protect everything. So make a strong password up that only you are going to remember. Click install and that will continue for this installation of the K9 web protection uh, app. Once it's done, it's going to say completed and it's going to ask you to reboot the computer. So I'm going to go ahead and reboot the computer. All right, once the computer rebooted, you can now go and you can do an all programs and uh, you want to look for canine web protection and uh, once you find it, it should be in your program somewhere or you may do a search for your computer once you find it open it up open up the icon what that will do is it will pull up your internet browser and in here is where you're going to start setting up canine web protection so the first thing you want to do is you want to come down to where it says setup and you're going to put in the password that you created when you installed the program and uh, 
here's where you get to work. So here you have the option to block all kinds of stuff. By default, you can set it to block adult, mature content, alcohol content, sexual content, lifestyles, alternative content, and uh, extreme content, gambling, hacking content, nudity, spyware, malware resources, pornography sites, all kinds of nasty stuff, pishing sites, personal site, dating sites, and I mean, if you don't want to block all kinds of these sites, what you do is you want to go down to the custom section, and basically in here, you want to check, you want to uncheck all the sites, or check the sites that you want to block, and uh, uncheck the sites that you don't want to have blocked. So basically, if there's anything that you don't want to block, uncheck it, and check the ones that you want to block. So you can see what they're all here. There's a bunch of different uh, options, so simply make your decision from here, what you want to block and what you don't want to block. And uh, from there, you can click Save. And once you click save, it's going to say that the sentence has been saved at the top. You can now exit out of the browser. And what? And now I'm going to prove to you that it's worked. So we're going to go into some uh, adult websites here to prove that they've been blocked and locked down. So let's do one of the most popular adult websites here. And the website is completely blocked. So... You see what website I've tried to go to, and it's completely blocked, and you can't go to it now. And you, and if you, and if you were to click allow this site, you're gonna have to prompt the password in. So this is where you wouldn't give the person the password. I mean, it's password protected. And uh, let's go to some other uh, websites that are inappropriate. See, it's also blocked this website too, which is another adult website, and uh, you get the point. It's blocked it, and uh, that's how you put parental controls on your computer and to block uh, all kinds of sites you don't want to go to. And uh, thanks for watching this video. And if you uh, please remember to comment, write, and subscribe to this uh, software, has helped you.